In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for the practice final exam for Math 1050. We have to expand the logarithm, uh, well, the common log of x cubed times the square root of x plus one all over x minus two quantity squared. So first of all, this is a fraction inside of the logarithm. So using the second law of logarithms, this would expand to be the log of x cubed times the square root of x plus one minus the log of x minus two quantity squared, like so. Um, in the first logarithm, there is a product going on here. You have x cubed times uh, the square root of x. So we're going to break that up with regard to the product there. So that gives us the log of x cubed plus the log of the square root of x plus one, then minus the log of x minus two squared. And so then with all the remaining logarithms, there is there are exponents that can be pulled out. The x cubed, the exponent comes out as a three. For the square root, it will come out as a one half. And then for the minus log of x minus two squared, that two would come out as a coefficient. So we're, uh, the correct answer we're looking for would then be three log of x plus one half log of x plus one minus two log of x minus two, for which we see that's exactly choice A, just like we said a moment ago, three log of x plus one half log of x plus one and minus two log of x minus two. So using the three laws of logarithms, we're able to correctly expand this logarithmic expression.